My name is Dennis Papp. I'm the pastor at Southfield Church in Shanahan, Illinois. Uh, our claim to fame is that we were the spiritual home for Ben Mott before he came on staff here at Green Lake. Uh, this past week we've had a work crew up here, volunteer group just doing all kinds of work around the property. Uh, 90 high schoolers and junior hires as well as leaders. And it's been a, a blast just being up here and being able to do uh, projects that really help to improve the experience here at, at Green Lake Conference Center. There are many, many things I love about Green Lake and you know, after Ben and I have uh, died and gone to heaven, yes that will happen someday, I'm going to grab him someday and say, you know what, we need to go meet Jesse Lawson. I want to spend some time with this lady. I want to I want to get to know her. When you get a chance to wander around Green Lake, it's just amazing to see uh, the number of beautiful buildings. Uh, this woman practically created a village here uh, and, and so many things that are just unique to explore. One is this building. This is an old root cellar. It was built in 1904 and just used to harvest and put vegetables in for the winter. Along the way, somebody quite brilliantly reclaimed this piece of property. Not not as a root cellar, but as a, a place for a real true spiritual encounter with God. And there's so many of those places around here, whether it's going out to the point or up to the tower, just places to go and be quiet in the presence of God. And this is one of them. And I, I love coming into the chapel and just sitting and being quiet, looking at the prayers that people have left in this place. And one of the things that's been kind of a burden on my heart for a while is getting into this space and kind of just giving it some TLC. It's time for a little bit of updating. I love what people did in the past. The, the heart that they put into really investing into this space and making it something that was uh, a true a place of spiritual encounter. But time has come for a little bit of updating. For example, the carpet. The carpet's been down, some staff members believe, for better than 30 years. And one of the things we noticed after we took the carpet out is that the, the walls and, and floor kind of leak water quite regularly and so the back side of the carpet was quite molded. If you come up here in the summer in August and you want to sit in the chapel and you have allergies, you might have a little bit of difficulty sitting in the space. So we want to get the carpet out of there. We want to redo some of the lighting and just do some things that will make this an even more beautiful uh, place to encounter our Lord. Uh, there's even somebody later this fall that's planning on having their, their wedding in this space and so we hope to be able to just create an environment that you kind of stumble upon. You're wondering, what is this stone building? And then when you walk in, you see this beautiful, simple space. The style we're going for is kind of reclaiming what the room was, so it'll feel a little bit more like a root cellar. It's not going to look like a, 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 a fancy chapel, but instead really a place that you, you're expecting one thing only to find another. So maybe you're expecting a stone root cellar and then you walk in and instead what you find is a beautiful place that you can be quiet with God. So I hope you'll be patient with us. We do live four hours away so we've done a week's worth of work. We've got the carpet out, the mastic off the floor and done some other things in the space but throughout the summer we'll be bring, coming back alone as well as work groups and uh, changing the lighting and doing other work, getting the paint refreshed and just getting to this again to be a, a space that you might want to come and spend some time. So if you get the chance to come up this summer, go ahead and peek in and, and see what's going on. And I just encourage you to peek around. There are a lot of great things happening right now around the conference center, reviving old spaces, making them new again, and a place that you can have just a beautiful experience and encounter with our Lord. So thanks so much for your time. And uh, I look forward to you coming and enjoying this space here at the Green Lake Conference Center.